Hey everybody, this is Eddie San, Optimistic Marketer, listening to what's happening in the clubhouse right now, Authentic Selling, and we're answering the question, when pricing the product high, does it sell? So do you have a high price product and do you sell it? Listen in. Right? Yeah. Hey, Dan. Hey, hey Teen. Hey, good to see you. Dan is here, Netta. Teen is here. Mateo. What, so what do you think, Eddie? Dude, okay, so uh, here, here's what I what I believe is that you're not going to know until you do it. So I, I believe pricing it high will actually get you the right client, the right prospect, okay? That's how I look at it. Um, I've done the, yeah, I've done the low low paying programs. I've done them. And I always get the, can I get something free or is, is too much type of people. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, so yeah, man, that's what, what do you guys think? Netta, team, Mattel, Dan, do you guys have any experience with, do you actually sell? And so the, the, the question here is when pricing the product high, does it sell? So does it sell for you? Have you had that experience before? There you go, Neta. I just invited you over. Uh, thanks, Guy. Um, I haven't had experience selling at a high price, but I have had experience thinking that a low price was a high price. Okay, fair. <laughs> so it took me a while. You know my background, Jerry, as a teacher. It took me a while to like charge, feel good about charging anything. Mm -hmm. and, and another much longer while to um, get my head around the concept that, that like hundreds of dollars and, so, you know, even thousands, I'm not quite there yet, uh, are like chargeable amounts, you know? Right. So um, I started off thinking $30 was high. You, well, you... if you look at it from the perspective of, of look at the programs you buy. Okay, you spent yeah. thousands of dollars on on programs. Um, yeah, three. I think in my life, three thousand dollars. Yes. Okay, so one of them was at least two thousand. Right. Why did you spend two thousand dollars for it? Um, I don't know. I couldn't sleep for a week when I did that. <laughs> um, honestly, that... I was. I. I mean. Yeah, I've never yeah. spent that much money on pretty much anything, but mm. um, certainly not on a course that wasn't part of a university course. But um, why did I do it? I, I think, you know, it, you know, it was PLF. I think he had a good reputation and, mm -hmm. you know, and I thought if I'm going to learn from someone, I might as well learn from someone with a good reputation. Oh, wow. Right, and the promise was there of a better future for you to yes. build the business faster with a system that from a proven person, expertise. Yes. So I wasn't necessarily That's thinking in those terms because I just didn't, I wasn't like well, ready to maybe start you a business. Well, conscious but, of yeah. it. Right. Right, you, you know, you weren't conscious, but your subconscious is. And it's the same as us, is when we know our expertise and we step out and say I can help you do this and here's how much it's going to be to work with me um, mm -hmm. dream clients will pick up on that vibe as well and yeah. yes you're an expert in what you've done Nana. like how long have you been sugar off of sugar six years six years like and how much has your life changed um a hundred percent and do you have five stories you could tell about uh, how... 500 <laughs> okay, so there you go. That's that's all you need in your marketing. Yeah. Here's how my yeah, life I has changed. Here's how it's changed for you know how it's gotten better X Y Z. And if you want this, mm -hmm. I can show you how to do it. Yeah, yeah, I'm getting to that point now where I'm confident of that kind of approach. Whereas I, in the first, I've only been doing this you know part time because I'm still working for three years. But it, the first three years, it was like. A bit tentative, well, a lot tentative, you know? Right. Well, you know, if, if it's not too much, if it doesn't bother you, I mean, not not actually saying those things, but with that approach, 
you know, well, if you kind of want to, then maybe you can, yeah. Yeah, right. but... And it, that's it, why, it, those are where you get those types of people, right, Eddie? Is like the yeah. kind of, well, it's kind of... Yeah, I might want to do it, and it kind of looks interesting, and oh, yeah. the price is not too bad, so I I might and blah blah blah, right? Yeah, and then uh, yeah. you you said uh, it, one of the things that that the I I giggled to the uh, when you said that you just like you just did it and and you just didn't know, and you know, after you said that you did know why you spent two thousand dollars, it is the key ingredient on, on what we're talking about. You saw the value. You saw a professional. Because what if uh, Joey or anybody else, any other pro out there, uh, they would have charged instead of two thousand two bucks, and they give you the big promise, right? How confident are you that by you paying two dollars and this huge promise, uh, like, what would you think? You know, are they yeah, for I real? Think it would be up. Exactly, exactly. So, so that's why, it, it, in my experience. I've done it both ways, and I I can tell you that what you experience is exactly how I feel. That you, when pricing high, okay, not ridiculous high, but to the level of the value, the promise, right? But when you're pricing high, let's not be afraid or let's not be uh, concerned if people are going to buy. Instead, let's wait for the right people to find us, right? Because they will pay. Bingo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's what I'm learning from Joey. Thanks, yep. Joey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Anybody else, Dan, Mattel, Teen, you guys want to chime in? <laughs> Is that how you say it? Chime in? Sounds good. Chime in, yeah. Yeah, that sounds it's good. A, it's a crazy world. Like, dude, I, you know, just to give you a short background of it, and anybody listening to this is, you know, when I did it, I, I was in the same boat. I started with my $197 product back in 2000, I think it was 13 or 14, I forget what it was, and I was already freaking out, and actually, to be honest, I think I I started with four or five at 97, and still did the, well, this is going to be 197 so you better get it now, and I think I had four people who buy it at 97 bucks, mm -hmm. and that ended up to be a 297 dollar product which i was already freaking out yeah and and I'm, and i look back at that product today thinking what did, uh, why did i do that like why am i so afraid to charge five hundred dollars or a thousand dollars because of the the stuff that's in there is is gold mm -hmm. um and uh, i think it has a lot to do with because i was in the real estate industry i was teaching people how to raise money and mm -hmm. i was i was doing it but i wasn't confident enough even though it was known as the jv guy like that's what i would get called to go and speak about but i was actually speaking about what we're talking about here which is you raise money through dream clients but i, I didn't use those those words but mm -hmm. that's what i was teaching right yeah get the right people and here's how you market to them and blah 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 but yeah i guess it had a lot to do with confidence that i didn't really have 100 jvs or something and thinking well i can't charge mm -hmm. you know a thousand dollars or whatever it is and that may be true i don't know but my mm -hmm. everybody who who bought the course i think i sold over the i don't know how many i've sold mm -hmm. over this, all these years maybe 150 or something like that mm -hmm. they all said it was brilliant it was like this is not this is nothing i've never heard before and i've done this and i've done that yeah and if I would have understood back then to market the value of what I'm bringing and, and not just the JB course, it would have been, it may have been different. Yeah. So I'm just trying to help everybody here listening that that's what it's about. You promise the the outcome and make sure you got the outcome right. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. I think it also comes down, you just said that, uh, to, to the psychology, you know, the subconscious mind there because um, this past, uh, no, last week, um, I was I was um, watching a live from uh, Oren Clef, Pitch Anything, which, by the way, that's a cool book. Uh, so one of the things he mentioned uh, that salespeople are, are still connected, subconsciously connected to the old way of thinking, uh, of selling. Uh, the, the, the Tom Hopkins, the, right, the, like Brian Tracy's, you know, all of these people back in the day 
which back in the 80s, it worked. So right. when they come today, they're having sales pros are having a challenge making the shift and there that's when um that that fear comes like they're not they're uncertain is this going to actually work and it reminds me of what we're talking about right it it seems like we have heard all those professionals and experts out there who pretend to be or maybe they over promise for a ridiculous amount of price and we experience either ourselves or we hear stories from other individuals that they just got gypped, right? Like it just wasn't worth that much. So so somewhere along the line, we feel like, oh my goodness, I don't want to be that type. So let me undersell, right? You know, and, and let me make it easier or affordable or something. And then uh, I, I believe that's where it comes from, but that's where we get caught up in not pricing right and and it's uncomfortable to raise it right uh but again it comes down to knowing your value right and and for sure the promise don't ever over promise <laughs> ever never 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 do that well that's the thing like people over promise because they want to try to get the sale and i think that yes. one of the biggest things about this for me is the mindset shift that i think and, and i this is all i teach my clients is about make the mindset shift from selling to serving and as soon as you do that mm -hmm. as soon as you go into every conversation with how do i serve this person today mm -hmm. then and selling is not it's no longer like you know the whole how do i close them where do i get to the close bullshit no 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 yeah right mm -hmm. it's like how do i serve this person and what wh where it goes it goes and mm -hmm. And I understand that there are people out there or sales people who are on calls that need to say that need to get the closes per whatever it is. That's fine. But um, in, in my world, it's about how do I serve? And because of that reason mm -hmm. that there's no, the end result of a conversation is not to get the sale. Like right. it, it would be great to mm -hmm. get it, but it's more about, did I serve this person? I find those conversations turn around into a sale yes yes because all you're doing is is stepping into the zone of how do i serve mm -hmm. there you go it's a, so it comes back it, to the same thing man and what's that it comes back to the same thing right that authenticity that servant heart leadership that um uh heart uh Per, what what do you call yours heart I, heart center right heart center, heart yeah. center leadership it all comes down to that it's, the, it's a lifestyle it is yeah it, it is and you know it, it's a hard sh a shift for some people i get it because they want to sell their product um but mm -hmm. every day Eddie, you know that i have conversations with people and i can't i mean every day somebody will tell me I really love your zero pressure approach. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Wait, did it, that, didn't you have uh, a few people like even begging you to give you money recently? Yeah, over the, <laughs> for the weekend, <laughs> you know, like literally just conversations. And yeah. How, and, the, and it was like, how do I give you money? Yeah. What do I buy? Where do I buy? They didn't even know what I had. Yeah. It wasn't like they, it was just like, you, you're awesome. And that doesn't happen every weekend. I don't want right. to think like, oh, right. this guy's like the super sales dude. That doesn't happen. Right. But it was like this weekend was a great example of what I'm saying because, again, it goes.